settle in with the breath. Stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Think of this as being your home. If you move into a house, you have to make it comfortable. You add a mattress here, you add a few chairs there, places where you can sit down comfortably and stay and rest. And when you've rested, okay, then you have the strength to do what work you need to do. If you don't have a good place to rest, it's going to be a real problem. This is why you have to be very careful about this home for the mind. Don't let people come traipsing in, traipsing out, and creating a lot of trouble. As I said many times before, for most of us, our home for the mind is not really a home. It's more like a bus station. Anybody can come in. Anybody can go out. In other words, you take on all kinds of things and make them into your preoccupations. And then what comes out of the house, the things that you do or say or think, tends to be pretty bad, too. Think about a bus station. Anybody can go in, and certain people take over the restrooms, other people take over this part, that part, and they don't take over with good intentions. It's the same thing happening in the mind. Greed, aversion, and illusion take over in your mind. and They make you do things and say things and think things that you later regret. And Then when the time comes to suffer from these things, they go running off. It's like the police coming into the bus station. Everybody goes running off. In the meantime, they've created a huge problem. So what you've got to do is create a good doorman to make sure that whoever's coming in, whoever's going out, just the good things coming in, just good things going out, Okay, then you're going to be safe. That doorman is mindfulness. Knowing what's skillful, knowing what's not skillful, and be very careful. You have your choice about what things you're going to focus on, to think about, to, work, to concern yourself with. There are things that we do have to think about. But you want to make sure you think about things that are actually useful. For most of us, we think about useful things that actually create a lot of trouble, create more greed, more aversion, more passion, more delusion. And that kind of stuff you want to make sure that your mindfulness doorman keeps out. And the same thing with things coming out from the house. Whatever you do or say, I think, make sure that mindfulness is right there to check and make sure that only things that are skillful come out in your thoughts, words, and deeds. And this way you're protected. You've got mindfulness with a really clear idea of what's right and what's wrong, and coupled with alertness, seeing what's actually going on. And this is what protects the mind, protects the space that you're trying to create inside, so it really does become a home, a good place to live. And when things are going well like this, then good things are coming out of the mind, then the things that are going to come in get better and better and better all the time. You don't have people rushing in trying to chase down the criminals who were using the bus station as their hiding place, because the criminals are all gone. Or at the very least, you've got them totally under control. So make sure that you look after your house. Make sure your doorman is really alert at your eyes, at your ears, at your nose, at your tongue, at your body, at your mind, to watch what comes in, what goes out. Make sure that it's all good things coming in and going out. And that way you're safe and the area around you is safe, the neighborhood around you is safe as well.